This is Brett Batesby, and today I'm in a video right here right now for another fantastic publication here today. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Duncan, I almost said the Duncan Butterfly. Wow, another great start here. The Duncan Grasshopper, that's what I'll be unboxing here today. You know, they're both insects, so it's pretty close, right? Yeah, don't grasshoppers like turn into butterflies? Think so. Intro, let us go. So here we are, the Duncan Grasshopper. I actually got this for Christmas last year. I still haven't unboxed it. So I'm going to be unboxing it here today. So that's going to be fun. So we'll do the unboxing and then we'll have like a little review kind of thing. And then I'll be doing a couple of throws and stuff like that. So actually the first day this year I'll be throwing, because I have to, but I want to, so that's fantastic. I can't wait to throw this yo-yo here today. Absolutely so incredibly excited. This is so weird. This is only like the second, I think, unboxing I've ever done. And the first one was kind of awkward, but it went well, so that's good. So yeah, this plastic packaging, that's pretty cool. This is the way it came Okay, Uki. I don't know why I say that. Let's take it out. It actually, it looks pretty cool. Like, I haven't really played with a lot of Duncan, like, unresponsive yo-yos before. Like, I know they make, like, a lot of the older yo-yos, like, the Pro-Yo and stuff like that. That's the only Duncan, only other Duncan yo-yo that I have is the Pro-Yo. And I know they have another yo-yo that's called, like, the Metropolis or something. Um, and then they have like a couple other unresponsive yo-yos, of course, because most companies make, you know, like the unresponsive yo-yos now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Cool. Let's take it out. Wow, cool. <clears throat> Cool finish. I actually like this. This is pretty cool. It feels good in my hands. Kind of feels like the um, like the I guess the checkpoint or the shutter maybe. Like I don't I haven't had many metal yo-yos before. I, no one knows. I'm actually mostly a plastic guy. Like plastic yo-yos. Like I love the replay. My first yo-yo was the North Star. I loved it. Loved the one drop rally, absolutely. So I don't have many metal yo-yos, but this is another one to add to my collection. Really cool. And this is the signature yo-yo. I forgot to mention of the 2013 world yo-yo champion from, I believe he's from Hungary, uh, Janos. So his name's on it right here. I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but he was the 2013 world champion uh, quite a little while ago. 1A world champion. Cool, man. The grass. I really like the design on this. I like the artwork. It's pretty cool. Like it has, like some grass on it. Like you're out outdoors in the wild or something. And then I really like this Duncan Grasshopper. It has like a cool little artistic design on it. Like I really like that artwork and the creativity in there. I guess I'll point that out. Cause you know that's the cool thing I, I want to say with like yo-yos and stuff is I really like the the artwork, like the design side of it, and I think that that adds like kind of character to the yo-yo itself, and it's like, oh, that's a cool little illustration, I guess you could say. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty cool. Take it apart, looks like there's a concave bearing in there, so that's pretty awesome. Hopefully this will get me back throwing again, because, you know, just recently... Uh, I just haven't been, but I still have a lot of great yo-yos that I can't wait to throw. Just do some of my old tricks again, do some of my old freestyle moves, and I'll have a freestyle video coming up really soon after this video, where I'll probably be using uh, the Grasshopper. So that's pretty cool. Nice little bearing in here. It's got some response pads, which is pretty cool. Response pads, I still have some left over in my dresser, so I can change them when I have to. Because I change my response pads like once every six months or like once a year uh, possibly 
I'm pretty sure it's like once every six months if I play a lot with one specific yo-yo. Like, the replay or something like that. So it's pretty awesome, man. It's pretty cool, dude. Screws back together. And then you stop when it doesn't go anymore. So here's our little... <laughs> Here's our little package of fun. The original world's number one. Number one. Or that's what it says here. Nice little illustration of the yo-yos on here. I actually really like that design. It looks pretty cool. I'm pointing out a lot of the artistic work, which is I'm actually pretty impressed with the artistic work here. And there's a, <laughs> there's a string inside. That's all this box contains, is uh, a white string. It's probably polyester, yeah. Because usually like with a cotton string, you can tell right away if it's cotton, because it's like a little bit more like a, a, a dirtier white color, and you can smell it too, because the, the cotton smells different, has a different fragrance, fragrance than the polyester style material. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice, nice, um, a nice box for like just a simple string, you know what I mean? Like I actually, I, I like this. I like this packaging. So it's like, you know, we're just gonna give you a string, but we're not just gonna give you a string, we're gonna give you this really cool box with it. That's really awesome. You know, like, surprise there's no like instructions, like how to do the bind return, whatever. I already know how, so that's all right. No, I actually have no idea how to do the bind return. <clears throat> I still remember the first day that I got into yo-yoing when I got the North Star. At my old house, not this one, but um, yeah, I was like trying to do the bind return. I still remember trying to practice the bind return. I, was, I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, I I put the yo-yo on the trapeze, and then I would like just like drop it. Like I didn't really know how to like get the yo-yo to come back. <laughs> I remember it was pretty funny, and I was so scared it would like snap back on me or something. I was like, <laughs> I was so scared that it would like you know it'd be kind of aggressive or. Something like that. Like a too too aggressive of a bind, you know, I was kinda of scared I remember. Yeah. So let's put the string onto it and I guess we'll have some throws. I I, I like this yo-yo so far just from looking at it. It looks pretty cool. Just another yo-yo. I don't really break down yo-yos very much on my channel, and I don't really know like what to say, but it's like it looks really good, so I mean <laughs> You know, that's really all I can say. I don't know if this is in my height, because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm really short. I'm like a dwarf. So this, I don't know if this is dwarf sized. Okay, so I might have to cut this down because it looks pretty long. Do they sell any dwarf sized strings? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. You know, like, strings for like kids or something. I'm going to trim this down before I throw it. So I will BRB toaster strudels. Yeah. I have to go sanitize now. So I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's almost like the size of like a looping string right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm super short, so it'll work out really nice. And I'm good at I'm good at yo-yoing, right? So it shouldn't be a problem. I'm good at yo-yoing just like Dwar Ledridge is good at being a Disney Channel actress. Yeah, good comparison here. Yeah, I love Disney Channel. Alright, so let's do some freestyle tricks with the Grasshopper and then I'll do like sort of like an outro kind of review after throwing it.
probably hard to do some suicides because the response pads are brand new, so. Just thought of that. So I'll just stick to not suicides, right? So I just finished my little session with the Duncan Grasshopper and of course it's brand new so it's going to take time for the response pads to seat properly and break in, you know, just like any other kind of mechanical thing or, you know, like anything that moves, right, like moving parts like in engines and stuff, right, like piston engines or stuff like that, like bearings, they take time to break in, all the different parts take time to get comfortable where they are. So of course, you know, I'll have to keep throwing and then, you know, the bearing will break in, the response pads will start feeling a little bit better, I can probably do more suicides and stuff like that. And yeah, like I said, this is almost like the size of a looping string, because normally, I guess I'll tell you guys in this video, when I make my looping strings, you know, for the Proyo or the Unleashed or something, I don't know how you guys measure it, but um, I don't know the exact measurement in, like, inches or something, but normally, like, what I would do is I would, like, hold both of my arms out like this, and then when they just go past like 90 degrees, just barely, that's almost the size. So it'd be like, maybe like right there would be a good looping size for a string. Uh, good size for a looping string. Um, depending what you like, I guess, your preference. But yeah, looping strings are usually a lot shorter. And you know, cause for unresponsive yo-yos, it kind of depends how tall you are, right? Yeah, great yo-yo, good stuff. And I think this is going to be another good yo-yo. It kind of reminds me of the checkpoint. I guess I'll grab my checkpoint. I really haven't seen it for quite a little while, actually. But that's kind of what it reminded me of a little bit. Here's the checkpoint right here, which is a great yo-yo. It's a little bit more, like... I guess around the bearing, it kind of goes in a bit more. Like, unwind this beast. Yeah, almost kind of the same, actually. I guess the grasshopper kind of has more of like, around the bearing it's more like shaped, I guess. Where with this one it's just kind of like, it just kind of goes into it I guess, I don't really know how to explain it. There's like a groove here that pops out, so maybe that's better, I have no idea. But yeah, I think they're really similar, like the checkpoint and the grasshopper I think are really similar. I don't know which one I like better, maybe I like the grasshopper better, but we'll see. Yeah, another great yo-yo, and this is the first, like, Duncan unresponsive yo-yo I've tried. Because I know they've made quite a few other ones before. So, yeah, I mostly just buy, like, Yo-Yo Factory or whatever gets advertised the most, I guess. Like, you know, basically all I buy. I guess that'll do it. You know, that's really all I can say. I'm not much of a review guy, but this is a uh, new yo-yo that I have now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. My name is Brett Batesby. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. And of course, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Because that's something you should think of doing. But if you haven't, or I'm sorry, if you have, subscribe to me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel to see videos just like this. Whenever I feel like doing them. Which is often. And that is the video. See you later.